covenant relationship with God, our personal relationship with God, the most often repeated feature of the promises to Abraham can be easily overlooked. Notice how the personal pronouns are the key words. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants to be your God. I will be their God. Genesis chapter 17 verses 6 to 8. God Almighty is committing himself to Abraham and to Abraham's seed in a way so insistent and so awesome that only contemplation of it can invoke the true sense of wonder which we ought to have at being in covenant relationship with God Almighty. The fact that the basis of our relationship with God is an eternal covenant means that we do not drift in and out of fellowship with God according to our awareness of him. We are his people every hour of every day. I will be with you. There are two other things promised to Abraham and his descendants. I will be their God. I will be with you. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 8. And, 20, and chapter 26 and verse 3, chapter 28 and verse 15, compare Exodus chapter 6 and verse 7. The Lord Jesus Christ is God with us, Emmanuel. See Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. For those of us who have part in these promises concerning Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God, God will be with us and guide us to that happy end. Time and again God's people in their times of desperation have come back to these promises to Abraham in their realization that truly God is with us. See Second Chronicles chapter 32 verses 7 and 8. Covenant relationship with God means that he will give us previews of his future salvation by being our God now and going with us in salvation now. See Psalm 111 and verse 9. And we will respond to this and fulfill the truth of Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 which says that the sure outworkings of God's promises to us results in us glorifying him. The law of Moses was a conditional promise because there were two parties but the promises to us are in some sense unconditional as God is the only one party see Galatians chapter 3 verses 19 and 20 and as if God's own unconditional promise isn't enough he confirmed those promises to us with the blood of his very own son. Bearing this in mind, it's not surprising that Psalm 111 and verse 5 states that God will ever be mindful of his covenant. This means that he's thinking about the covenant made with us all the time, and yet how often in daily life do we reflect upon the fact that we really are in a covenant relationship with God? How often do we reflect the part we share in the promises to Abraham how frequently do we feel that we really are in our personal covenant relationship with God Almighty